Hello everyone. Today let's learn something about the joystick module. Joystick is the operating rod on the gamepad that we usually play, and it's similar to the operating rod in the early arcade game. We use the joystick module on the game. Also, we can use it to DIY products. With the joystick module, we can make the operation easy to understand. The principle of using the joystick module to control the servo through Arduino is that when the joystick module is moved horizontally or vertically, it transmits a value between zero and 1,023 to the Arduino control board, and then these values will be printed out through serial port and showing the rules. This is the wiring diagram. Connect the VCC and GND of the joystick module to the 5V and GND of Arduino. Then connect Y to the port AO, X to A1, and SW to pin 2. The pins 7, A9, 10, and 11 are connected with LEDs. The pin 7 is for joystick module being pressed. The other four ports are for directions. You can also connect the LEDs according to your needs. In the experiment, we can see that blue will be illuminated when we move the joystick module forward vertically, and yellow will be illuminated when moved backward vertically. Red and green are illuminated when moved left and right horizontally. Next is the code. First, define the port of Arduino we use this time. Button state is a status bit. When our joystick module is pressed. The button state will be set to high. We set the port used this time to the output state. If it's not set to the output state, the LED will not light up. Then set port two to high. If the initial value is not set to high, it will affect the subsequent acquisition. Then set the serial port baud rate to 115,200. Now first use analog read to acquire the X and Y values of the joystick module. Then use digital read to get the state of the pin. The analog read acquires the analog value is zero to one thousand twenty-three. Digital read gets the state of the pin, high or low level. This data are printed out through the serial port. These are the ones we have processed based on the acquired data. If the condition is met, the corresponding LED is lit. Then compare the state of the pins that need to be obtained before, and this is all for this time. Thanks for watching.